Gone are the days of simple televisions. Today's TVs are so smart, many families don't really know how to use them. According to the experts, there are dozens of features at your fingertips. It's simply a matter of finding them. It's basically a computer baked into a TV. Being able to just watch whatever we want. If you can use a smartphone, you can use a smart TV. Chances are most viewers are watching right now on their smart TV, but many aren't using the incredible technology now built in to the telly. Trying to buy a TV that's not smart these days is like trying to buy a phone that doesn't have a camera. Smart TV relies on the internet to stream media to your TV set. It was a no-brainer for us. Tegan Crumby is building a new home. Its theatre will be specially set up around a smart TV. We have designed our house to so that the cables and everything are already set up. Certainly for us, what we do, uh, running a data cable to every TV is standard. Intelligent Home Systems designer Ryan De Rosario says hooking up your smart TV is simple. If you can, get a data cable from your modem to the TV. That's going to work the best for you, 100%. Um, failing that, you can try and connect over Wi-Fi. Most of the TVs that are smart will have that capability. Well, you have access to a whole lot of content, especially with online streaming services coming th through. So services like Presto, Stan and Netflix. According to tech expert Ben Aylett, these services are easy to access. All you have to do is you plug it into the internet and you've got access to all the smart functions that you need. But even though 40% of Australians have some sort of smart TV in their home, less than half of them have used it to go online and a fifth don't even have it connected. I think it's because people don't really know that that feature is available or they're just scared about how to plug it into the internet. But Ben reckons connecting your smart TV is the only way to get your money's worth. Basically anything your computer can do, your smart TV can do. You've got a web browser, you can watch YouTube videos, you can look at your own photos on your TV. Uh, there are also internet radio streaming services and services that will allow you to buy or rent videos instantly and online. You also have more control over its basic settings, like sound. Ben, we have had some viewers say they can't really hear the voiceover because the music's quite loud. Is that something you can change? Well, you can change that. If you go into the settings of your smart TV, there's usually a dynamic sound or a smart sound system built into the TV. Just simply turn that function on and it should detect the sort of TV program that's coming over the air and adjust your sound accordingly. Ben believes mastering the use of your smart TV comes down to knowing how to navigate the menu. It's actually quite easy. A lot of smart TVs have got wizards built into them. And if you can't follow the wizard's instructions, Ben reminds us there's no pressure. Enjoy exploring the menu. Just pick up the remote and have a play with it. That's really one of the best ways to learn anything about technology is to give it a go. If you don't want to replace your old TV, there are a couple of inexpensive devices you can plug in, like Apple TVs or Chromecasts, to make it clever. It's not just Apple or Google, there's also a whole lot of other third-party devices which will make your dumb TV much smarter. But for all the smart TV advantages, Ben has a word of warning. Your internet usage could go up because a smart TV relies on the internet to stream media to your TV set. Um, yeah, it is going to impact your usage. His advice? Just watch your data and enjoy. When there's nothing on TV, do something about it. Pick up the remote, have some fun. Signed Doherty there. Stay with us. Back with weather shortly.